Greetings, I'm Chanel and I'm together with my good friends Only Dreams. Now we are inside the Black Temple with five people and we're at the Illidan fight. We are going to explain you the tactics on how this fight works. So let's start off with the positioning that we've got going. So Only Dreams has the better idea on the positioning, so if you please. Uh, okay, sure. So the way we position ourselves here is um, we have two range, the healer and the range DPS. So going to be standing in the middle of the room. And then, you know, we just kind of kite Illidan clockwise around the center as he leaves fire behind. Uh, you kind of need to cut him out of that. So, you know, we just kind of create a trail, you know, clockwise around the center. Basically, yeah. And every now and then, um, you will see soon that I will get a parasitic debuff on me. Now, what we do with this parasitic debuff is um, we move towards the middle in between the healers and the DPS, uh, the ranger DPS and the melee DPS. So you can see it right now, and it puts a debuff on you for 10 seconds. When it expires, it will spawn two of these parasitic demons, which you have to clear off immediately as we can. So um, Only Dreams has the better perspective on how to deal with them. Right, so you know, I'm, so I'm playing the ranged DPS, I'm going to be the one killing the, the parasites. So basically what they do is, you know, Illidan randomly infects a player with parasites. After 10 seconds, he spawns two parasites on that player, and then they're going to start chasing random people. And you have to stop them before they reach whoever they're chasing. Because if you don't, then the player who got infected or hit by the parasite is also going to be infected and then spawn two more. And it quickly snowballs out of uh, control if you don't deal with it. So obviously, since they um, they infect on melee contact, we're not going to have our melee DPS risking uh, killing them. So I'm just going to be doing it, basically. Scoot is going to be helping a little bit, even though he's healing. He can uh, stun and do a little bit of damage as well. Exactly. Um, so the rest of the fight is we just um, chasing around in a circle, and that's basically the main uh, gist of the entire first phase. Now, obviously, yeah. the second phase happens when you bring them down to 65%, um, in which case you have to deal with all the parasitic debuffs that you have on you at that point to make sure you don't make the second phase harder, because that's obviously the hardest phase in the entire uh, fight with Illidan. Yeah, phase two is where we heroism because it's by far the hardest phase, uh, like Chanel said. So, yeah, you know, we save heroism. We're not going to heroism and pull, even though if we did, we could get two heroisms uh, in the fight. But we kind of cut that, and then we say, okay, we just need the heroism in phase two because it's the hardest, far, uh, hardest part by far. It's the most intense healing, and the tank takes so much damage. Yeah. Basically. So, if so... you have any like leftover parasites, like a lot of people are infected because you fucked up a little bit, and you know you have plenty of time to clear them before you push them into phase two. Yeah, and phase two is what's happening right now. So you have these two fiery demons. Now, if you have if they have a frost mage or a totem mage, shaman or anything like that, you can roots one of them, keep them busy, keep them away from the other one because they deal a lot of damage. This is obviously when you use the most of the cooldowns you have. Deal with them as quickly as you can. Yes, both tank cooldowns and DPS cooldowns going to be burned here to um, both kill the. Uh, you know, after you kill off one of the elementals. Pressure is obviously going to be cut in half, so you want to do that as fast as possible. Yeah. And also, you know, tank elements because this is the most intense damage. Yeah. Uh, both especially... the elementals cleave, and Illidan also cleaves on phase one. We should probably mention that. Yeah, Illidan uh, so... cleaves actually on every phase as it goes. Yes. Um, but as you got with the fire demons, especially for the melee, one thing you have to keep yourself with is always put your screen entirely on top of yourself so you can see where the fire is because it's really hard to notice where the fire is going to damage you and where it isn't mm -hmm. and this is a, a lot of min maxing a lot of moving around little bits uh finding the gaps where you can stand without taking damage yes so obviously um the way these elementals work is that they're both tethered uh, one each to a warglaive and if you break that tether if you pull them too far away from their warglaive they're going to enrage and kill the entire raid instantly so so we only have one tank because we're obviously five money. You have to tank them both with one tank, even though that's not how it's supposed to work. So you have to stand while they're both alive. You have to stand in the middle of the room so that you don't break any of the tethers. But then, you know, once you kill one of them, you have a little bit more freedom. Yes, basically. And then you get over to the third phase, which is basically the same as the first phase, except you've got a little bit more to deal with. So you've got one more debuff on, yeah. which is a, a one minute long debuff you can't you can't really do anything about it to be fair i mean i guess you could ice block it but is it really worth yeah, it you, you can ice block it off you can bubble it off it's a physical so you, you have to um you can't dispel it so you just kind of have to like heal through it unless you have immunities to you know remove it and also this phase is going to introduce the, the demon form yeah the 
demon form, which will happen in about 30 seconds from now. But everything else, like the parasitic sh shadow fiend, as you can see right now, is still the same. Um, you still have to keep kiting him around in a circle, and of course you have now the, the debuff that you can currently see uh, going on soon. Yeah, so there it is. Yeah, I, I have it right now, uh, the, the fire debuff. Yeah, exactly. The blue fire. It has the same, uh, same icon as Hypothermia. But anyway, so as you can see, when a melee gets affected by Shadow Fiends, they kind of step away from the melee group to give the ranged chance to kill them before they run back to the melees. Yeah. So and when the tank gets infected, we should probably mention this. Oh, when yeah. the tank gets infected, because this is uh, this is the most annoying part by far. So sometimes he'll infect the tank with parasites, and then all the melees have to step away from the tank because obviously the tank can't run away because the boss is just going to follow. Um, so yeah, just make sure everyone steps away from the tank and then let the range kill the parasites and then the DPS can go back. Yeah, and then you have the, the demon phase, which is a thing you can see right now. Um, yes. The demon phase, when you're a melee, you have to immediately go, go, go away from the boss because you get a stacking debuff every time you take more shadow damage and more shadow damage. And this is incredibly lethal. So for the healer, it's uh, really important if you take that, you know, take that distance. Shadow demons, what happens is they each target uh, a certain raid member, so you have to ca kind of uh, have someone out distance them so they don't target them and kill yes. them as quickly as you can. Usually, it's, it's best to prefer the healer's ones first so the healer can start moving again because they stun. Yeah, you. so, yeah, well, what the, yeah, okay, so you were gonna say that, but anyway, what they do is they when they spawn, they, they target a beam on one player and then that player is permanently stunned until that demon dies, exactly. And then after that, you get back to the normal demon phase, and when the demon phase ends, you get back to the regular phase. Now, this phase lasts up all the way to 30% of Illidan's uh, HP. Yes, and 30% is where he uh, transitions to phase 4, which is where Maeve, or whatever she's called, spawns and starts helping you, which makes it the easiest phase yes. um, on the so... fight. What you have as well in the third phase is once you come towards the end, so like 35%, something like that, if you have parasitic shadow fiends on you, for example, Vitlana has it right now, but he, we were not at 35%, so we went back towards the middle. But to get it after that, you just stay towards the boss, uh, try and ignore the shadow fiends a little bit, maybe use a healing cooldown if you really have to. But what you do is take down the last 5% of the boss because every debuff you have on you will be completely ignored and will be removed from your character because of the transitioning phases. Yes, so he will transition here in 3%. So what's going to happen is Maeve kind of spawn, and everyone's going to get stunned for like, I think it's 30 or 40 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds. And then she's going to do some RP. And after that, you know, it's basically phase 3 again, except that we have Maeve helping us, doing a little bit of damage, and also placing traps, random places, that we can kite other than into, which will make him do, well, take double damage. So right now... Um... We are in the middle of the RP uh, part, which allows me to explain as well that if you are a melee character, the most important thing is try and find yourself uh, certain spots that you're not in front of, uh, you know, in front of the boss. Because as we said, he does cleave, but try not mm -hmm. to stay close too close to the other DPS as well. Because if he does get a parasitics and he forgets to move away, you are immediately going to get yourself in tr in big big trouble. Yes, one thing to say about the cleave as well is even if you can survive the damage and you feel like it's not really doing much, still avoid it because it also life steals and heals the boss. So yes. you, don't, you definitely don't want to extend the fight for no reason. So if we take a good look at the fourth phase right now, you can see Maiev is doing some a little bit of damage. It's not really that important, but she teleported away right now and putting down a trap. That's where the main tactic comes in this fight. So we told the tank to kite the boss towards that trap because that trap is going to help us a lot. This way you use all mm. your cooldowns as well, because he will take a lot more damage. Yeah, so make sure you hold damage cooldowns for this phase, because this is where you're going to be, you know, basically killing him. Yeah, so at this point he takes about 200% more damage from the from all of your abilities, which is where you have to try and cleave him down as quickly as possible. Obviously there's a big chance you might get another demon phase during this, in which case, follow the regular tactics, don't get too greedy, don't think like, oh, it's like last 8%, try and take him down. Um, make sure you're safe. So if you've got any ranger, the ranger will deal with him, and you as a melee just do whatever you have to do as a melee, which is keep your distance and try and help in any way possible you can. Yeah, so basically we're going to kill him here um, as he transitions out of this demon form, yes. and that's going to be the end of the fight. 
I think this took us uh, 15 attempts. Yeah, and 15 by attempts far, in total. Yes, by far the, the most, um, the, the ship we went to the most was the second phase with the fire elementals. Yeah, the fire elementals really broke us down, so that's why we chose to do the elemental, uh, I mean the heroism on that phase as well, rather than on pull. Yes. But yeah, from here on, as you can see, uh, the last bits are regular, um, there's nothing too special going on. And um, there we go, he's down. Yeah, he's dead. Definitely the, the most interesting and fun boss in the entire new raid, I would yeah. say. Especially for a DPS, this fight is where you have to do the most things, um, other than just focusing on the boss itself, which obviously makes this fight a lot more interesting for the DPS. As a tank, this boss is still interesting. As a healer, I probably assume as well. So, in general, most interesting fights close to the Illidera Council. Yeah, um, good luck if you try it yourself. Definitely try it if you have level 7 tanks, because it's really fun. Yeah. Um, see you next time. And that will be it. Goodbye.